Let's get to it. Alrighty YouTube, what is going on? Mesa Fail back at it with some Destiny. It is Thursday and he's located at the reef this time. In his little cubby hole, um, not so great stuff except for he's got an auto rifle, which uh, which probably will be good once patch 2.0 drops. Alright, let's jump right into it. So the no backup plans, no use for these things. I bought them a long time ago, haven't used them once. Strength of 103, which seems pretty low. Increase the duration of your force barrier. Does anyone on the uh, Striker Titans actually use that? I don't. I just use shoulder charge. Uh, increase melee attack speed and increase reload speed of special weapons. I would say pass on this. Don't even waste your coins. Uh, knucklehead, fucklehead radar. Sorry. <laughs> 106 strength. I'm delirious. It's 5 a.m. Uh, grenade hits restore. No. Grenade hits restores melee energy. More super energy from non guarding kills. So that's pretty good for PvE. But the money is uh, radar remains visible while aiming down sight with your primary weapon. I bought this a long time ago, but I have not used it. I mean, for my uh, Pelican Hunter, I'm either rocking that, Mask of the Third Man, or Active Face Symbia. That's pretty much always what I use for exotics. In fact, I really don't even use my Lucky Raspberry or uh, Crest of Apalupe. But let me know in the comment section, as always, if you guys actually use this thing and, and find it useful. All right, Claws of Ahamkar. These are really good for Warlocks, okay? Discipline of 58. I was about to say 158. No. Strength of 68. So... The money, uh, uh, the crux of this, why do I say crux? Sorry, I'm delirious. Gain an additional charge for all Warlock charge melee. So that means you could use it for Void Walker or for your Sun Singers. We know that the Warlocks pretty much have very, very uh, long distance melees and very deadly. Uh, increase reload speed of special weapons, increase melee attack speed. So I would say if you're a Warlock and you don't have these, definitely grab them. Uh, you'll find them useful. I don't use them that often, but they are definitely fun. Then we got the Soros Regime, which I'm going to talk about in a second, because I'm going to show you in my vault my two of them. I got two customized ones. Well, no, that's kind of silly. One just means it's not upgraded, and you can have some fun with not focus fire. I'll explain in a second. He's got the Helm Engrams, which means you guys can uh, get a bunch of these and chase your Ram, Celestial Nighthawk, and also Eternal Warrior. What else? Curios, Pulse Rifle Telemetry, Scout Rifle Telemetry, and Sniper Rifle Telemetry, Plasma Drive, and Emerald Coil. And heavy ammo syntheses. In fact, you know, I've been really digging. Uh, I, I bought the Crucible um, Sparrow, and yeah, hold on, let me grab this. And it looks so freaking cool on my wall. It looks like a Captain America. It's like red and blue, and looks really cool. In my future Borkhol shader. All right, let's uh, let's talk about Surf's regime. So we know that the auto rifles are getting a nice buff in patch 2.0. So here are the two Soros Regimes that I have, and I'm sorry if I say it like that. Oh, uh, you shouldn't have seen that up in the right-hand corner, but you'll see it on Saturday. All right, so here I got one that's fully, fully leveled up. Now, uh, first thing is going to be focus fire, right? Lots and lots of damage. Some people like it, some people don't. Uh, Cerberus Regime, bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health when dealing damage. Uh, the chance never really happens. I mean, we used to. I, before I had Red Death doing Crota Hard, I would use this sometimes, and sometimes it would help with giving you health, but I don't know. It doesn't really work. Mainly, it's basically glass half full. Then you got high caliber rounds, Hammer Forged, or you've got Lightweight. So I would go with Hammer Forged. But you also have Smart Drift Control, which, look at that, stability off the freaking chart when you select it. I can't select it here. But you can see, you take a little hit in the range, and we know that range is going to make a little more of a difference, I believe, in patch 2.0. Then my other Soto Sorojime is right here, and you can have a hell of a lot of fun with this one if you just slap on Smart Drift Control and don't upgrade it, okay? Um, right now, when you uh, fire this weapon, it does 24s uh, critical, which I know is not much, but when you put on Smart Drift Control and it's not upgraded, I'm not talking like Iron Banner or anything, just a regular Crucible, this thing is it, it, it's a laser beam, and it hits decently hard, very, very accurate, so... Uh, you might want to pick up, okay, if you got the coins, buy two of them, upgrade one of them fully, and then the other one don't upgrade, okay? Make sure you don't hit that focus fire one, and have some fun with um, putting smart drift control on, especially when patch 2.0 comes out. I'm going to do a whole video probably this week, because I got a bunch of auto rifles that I really want to use once patch 2.0 comes out. Like, this is her right hand which has focus fire this is kind of like a legendary Soros and it's got I love the fast draw IS and also my for the Piopal love that thing and all right, you know I don't want to get ahead of myself there so I hope you guys didn't spot what was in the right there because that's coming in Saturday's video all right that's it Babble mode has been engaged drop a like in this video only if you see fit follow me on the Twitter at Mesa Sean check out my stream I was about to say links in the description no stream is always on YouTube and that's it all right I gotta go and get to sleep guys I'm out of here I'm like Vladimir stay beautiful guardians